feeding the city of Hanoi. Talking about Vietnam is talking about food. As phrased by a famous Vietnamese chef, food is our life. We are forever eating, cooking and talking about food. In this video, we introduce you to the city of Hanoi, its recent developments and the implications for its food environment. So let's start by taking a closer look at Hanoi. This ancient city exudes an enchanting atmosphere, rich in history and traditions, doesn't it? Now this is also Hanoi, as is clearly visible from its urban landscape, the society is transforming quite dramatically. Over the past two decades, Vietnam has experienced a spectacular development from one of the most impoverished nations in the world into an economic powerhouse. Although food, a prominent feature of Vietnamese culture, has remained at the center of daily life, economic growth and urbanization have had serious implications for the way Vietnamese consumers access food. Hanoi is a city made up of villages originally separated by lakes and agricultural lands where people produce their own foods. Over the past two decades, these villages have progressively integrated into an urban metropole. The rapid economic development and the rural to urban migration have spurred the urban expansion into the surrounding countryside, widening the geographical distance between production and consumption. So, what does this mean for the way Hanoi consumers access food nowadays? What does the food retail system look like? The food retail environment in Hanoi is scattered. It's a patchwork of formal, registered businesses and informal, self-organized food vending. Furthermore, a distinction is increasingly shaping up between the more traditional open-air food vending and the newly developing modern indoor and air-conditioned supermarkets and convenience stores. Traditionally, food is sold at the so-called wet markets. These are formally organized, covered spaces in which food is offered in separate stalls. Wet herein refers to the wet floors due to the abundance of water used at the markets. In addition to these more formal vending structures are the informal self-organized street vending practices. Street vending ranges from semi-permanent street markets to ambulance street vendors. Especially these ambulance vendors have become iconic in Vietnamese culture. Striving to develop Hanoi into a modern metropolitan capital, authorities in Vietnam stimulate policies that focus on the restriction of traditional food vending practices and the expansion of modern supermarkets. With the rickety appearance of Hanoi's wet markets not in keeping with the vision for the city, authorities are imposing Western supermarket blueprints on its transitionary society. The main difference between sales at the more traditional markets and modern style supermarkets concerns personal contacts and food traceability. The food sold at traditional markets is often not traceable to the source. Farmers sell to intermediaries, who sell to wholesalers, who sell to retailers, who finally sell to the end consumer. Personal, often befriended contact between consumer and vendor is important, but the foods that are sold are mostly untraceable to the source. Supermarkets are characterized by anonymous food sales, but by offering private food quality standards, they aim to offer food traceability to the source. Therein, they drive the development of close change from production to consumption and sell in the private retail brand. Although authorities in Hanoi stimulate supermarketization, Assuming that the consumer culture in Hanoi becomes more comparable to advanced Western societies, the public resistance against the retail modernization is widespread. It is not contested that traditional channels need upgrading. But the shutting down of central markets without soliciting the opinions of the vendors, who in fact are co-owners, led to fierce public protests. 
Besides, there is great public concern that the disappearance of wet markets is a goodbye to a part of traditional Vietnamese culture. These public concerns have halted the knockdown of markets and opened up the socio-political debate on how to move ahead with food retail modernization. Finding some kind of compromise between the old and the new gradually enters the agenda, especially since markets are still winning the battle with supermarkets. In this video we demonstrated how the top-down enforced retail modernization policy is leaving the potential of citizen-consumer co-creation untapped. More active involvement of consumers and vendors could benefit the development of more effective food system interventions.